because you're, you're, he's the person that you're going to describe. Okay. Say so real strong. Yeah. So, one of the Hyrule and Pharisees was still looking out for anyone, man, woman, or child, who followed the teachings of Jesus. They were known as people of the way. I am going to catch all of you who are following the way in body and prison. Our troublemakers need to be silent. Paul was on his way to Damascus, and suddenly, a bright light from heaven flashed all around him. He fell to the ground and heard a loud voice asking, Saul, Saul, why are you being so mean to me? Who are you? What have you done to me? I am Jesus, the one you are treating so badly. Get up and go to the city, and you will be told what to do. The men who were traveling us all could not understand what was happening. They heard the voice, but they did not see anyone. Saul got up from the ground, and though his eyes were open, he could not see anything. So they led him by the hand and took him to Damascus. He was blind for three days. He did not eat or drink anything. Ananias. Here I am, Lord. Get up and go to the street for the street, and at the house of Judas, this her name is in Saul. You should be there praying. Oh, my Lord, I have heard from many people about this man, how much evil he has done to your saints in Israel, in Jerusalem. <coughs> he has the authority from the chief priest to take anyone to jail who follows you. Ananias, I need you to go for me. Saul, the perfect servant, to spread the gospel of to the Gentiles and to the kings and to all the people of Israel. Okay, God, but only because you say so. So Ananias went to Judas house to find Saul and to do what God asked. Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus sent me to bring you to bring your sight so that you can so that you might be filled with the Holy Spirit.